50 years ago, in December 1972, astronauts last walked over the surface of the moon. What were the findings, and was this last mission of the Apollo program worthwhile? Apollo 17 was the sixth and final moon landing in the Apollo program. It was launched on December 7, 1972, and was the only night launch. The geologist Harrison H. Schmidt was the first and only scientist among the astronauts of the Apollo program. At no other manned mission were so many scientific experiments performed. The commander of the mission was Gene Kernan, a veteran astronaut who had flown aboard Gemini 9 and Apollo 10, and Ronald Evans was the command module pilot who orbited the moon's surface above the heads of the astronauts. Kernan and Schmidt landed in the Taurus Littrow Valley, deeper than the Grand Canyon and completed three moonwalks, taking lunar samples and deploying scientific instruments. One of the biggest discoveries was the orange soil at Shorty Crater, containing volcanic glass from an explosive eruption. The crew also collected the oldest known unshocked, unaltered by meteorite impact, lunar rock, suggesting the moon had a dynamo-generated magnetic field in its past. The mission duration was 12 days, 13 hours and 52 minutes, and the mission broke several records for crewed spaceflight, including the longest crewed lunar landing mission, 12 days, 14 hours, the greatest distance from a spacecraft during an extravehicular activity of any type, 7.6 kilometers, the longest total lunar surface extravehicular activities, 22 hours, 4 minutes, the largest lunar sample return, approximately 115 kilograms, the longest time in lunar orbit, 6 days, 4 hours, and the most lunar orbits at 75. Like Apollo 15 and 16, Apollo 17 carried a lunar roving vehicle. In addition to being used by the astronauts for transport to different stations on the mission's three moonwalks, the LRV was used to transport the astronauts' tools, communications equipment, and the lunar samples they gathered. Apollo 17 carried a sodium iodide crystal, identical to the ones used in the gamma-ray spectrometer flown on Apollo 15 and 16. Once examined on Earth, the data was used to help form a baseline, allowing the subtraction of rays from the CM or cosmic radiation to gain better data from the earlier results. The S-band transponders in the CSM and LM were pointed at the Moon to gain data on its gravitational field. Results from the lunar orbiter probes revealed that lunar gravity varies slightly due to the presence of mass concentrations or mass cons. Data from the missions and lunar subsatellites left by Apollo 15 and 16 were used to map such variations in lunar gravity. During the Apollo 17 mission, the famous blue marble photo was taken on December 7, 1972, from a distance of about 29,000 kilometers. It shows the African continent and Antarctica from space and is one of the most reproduced images in history. A plaque left on the moon by the astronauts reads, here, man completed his first exploration of the moon, December 1972 AD. May the spirit of peace in which he came be reflected in the lives of all mankind. In this decade, people will fly to the moon again. This time, however, they plan to stay there for a long time. <laughs>